Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. So I went to court for my tenant that didn't move. Oh, I didn't realize you had a tenant that didn't move. I told you about it. I told this whole story in, in oh, one of our episodes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So with your, the other people didn't want to go to court. and Huh? It wasn't it that your family was trying to... You know, keep that old, the whole notebook or whatever that your grandma kept. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, that was, you know, he didn't pay his rent under my aunt, rent it to him, but that was, that's long said and done, whatever. I mean, the estate would have had to go after him back then if anything was ever going to happen with that, which they didn't. So, but no, like, I think I, I told the whole story about how he cussed my cousin out and she gave him an eviction notice and all this. Right. And they were going to, right. husband wanted to fight him, all that shit. Um, so we gave him the eviction notice. He's supposed to move out by the 5th of uh this month then fifth came and went and he didn't he didn't he didn't move an inch he didn't go anywhere i went over to his house on the fifth and knocked on the door and um when i knocked on the door it wasn't shut or locked and so it like opened up um so i actually went in and like recorded every room of the house to make sure i knew what condition it was all in that way if he like shits in the on the floor or something when he leaves i have some kind of video evidence that shows the condition the house was in um so uh you know, we'd gone and seen a lawyer uh, whenever we served in the eviction notice just to make sure the eviction notice was good and there wouldn't be anything that he couldn't say or do. And then once he didn't move out, we actually hired the lawyer because we just consulted before. We actually hired the lawyer to um, to serve him all the paperwork. And so went to court um, Wednesday this week, so the 16th, I guess it was. Um, and uh, it's such a waste of time. I don't even know why he showed up. Uh, so we get there, and there was some people there in front of us. Um, and this woman that was there in front of us, she rambled on about the man that was renting her house for an hour. Um, and like, she just like, she kept trying to explain her bookkeeping process to the judge and the judge kept saying, no, nothing in your books makes any sense at all. Like she was trying to say the CPA, the way the CPA does it, like each, like, like, like let's say, let's say you didn't pay your February rent. And then you went two months without paying your rent and you paid, then February would be credited before whatever month you paid in. And the judge was like, I understand that. You know, whatever whatever's due, that's gonna be credited. It makes sense. Uh, but it says here that like two months later, when he did pay his rent, he's according to the line item here, he's got a credit of three hundred dollars. So why is that if he if you're saying he owes whatever like five thousand or whatever it is? Yeah, and the woman couldn't make any sense of it. Uh, she's like, well, that's just how the CPA does it. And it's like, well, well, no one can fucking read it. So what good is that? Um, but then after all of this, when the man finally gets a chance to talk, the man that was the renter, he starts talking about how he moved into this house and him and his wife have been living there for about six months. And once he's been living there six months, they get a foreclosure notice in the mail. And he's like, what the fuck? And so he calls this woman. He couldn't get up with her, the woman that's renting the house. And, uh, and he tells this whole story about how the house went into foreclosure and he got like four foreclosure letters and he came down here to the courthouse and the house was up for auction and all kinds of crazy shit. And so apparently that's when he stopped paying rent because he was just like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna have a house tomorrow. I'm not paying rent on this. I'm gonna find another house to live in. Um, and then as he's telling all this, he's like, but I'm also wanting to countersue uh, for all the money I've put towards ownership. And the judge is like, what do you mean put towards ownership? And, she, and he's like, well, this house was a rent-to-own house from the very beginning. I've been paying $100 of my rent every month goes towards the final price of the home to be sold. And then the judge is like, hold on, ma'am, are you selling this house to him? And she's like, well, I'm renting it, but he's paying money towards ownership eventually. And she's like, so you're selling the house eventually. And she's like, well, yeah, part, part of his payment every month goes towards the sale of the house. And she's like, well, you can't try a, a, a house that's being sold in a small claims court. You need to go to district court. Case dismissed. So you waited all that time for them to... Yes. Yes. I was in court for <laughs> like basically an hour and a half, a little bit more maybe, uh, for these people to talk their asses off and then him to say the right combination of words for the judge to be like, hold the fuck up. Get out. <laughs> I just... You wonder how does this like in this... I'm assuming he's seen the rental agreement... Well, it was a woman judge, but he, I mean, oh, she's seen the rental yeah, agreement. Yeah, she. Well, you know but what? I guess All she, she probably, got was the lease agreement. She, probably, uh, she, she had not didn't been read it because you know who's going to read an entire like agreement. Well, it was only two pages. She sat. I think she did read it because she sat there and read that shit for a long time. Um, but I, from what I gather, it didn't say anything about that because that kept that that came up once he said that the judge said something like, "Well, this is just a lease agreement. Where's the agreement to sell?" And the and she asked the man. He's like, "Well, I don't have one." 
And she's like, so you don't actually have a contract saying the money you've given her is going towards? Because apparently he also put 4800 down towards, it didn't go towards rent at all. It went towards the purchase of the house. And she's like, so you don't have anything in writing saying that this happened, right? And he was like, no. And that woman, though, the, the, the lease lady really fucked up, honestly, because apparently the man didn't have anything in writing saying he'd given her this money and there was no receipts mm -hmm. and there was no and proof that like, he had yeah, a... This is true. Yeah, she just admitted to it. It's like, goddamn woman, are you paying attention? <laughs> you just had your golden opportunity sucked away. Yeah. Yep, yep. I was just like, I was sitting there thinking, I was like, whenever he said, I was like, I was sitting there watching Judge Judy or something. Like, whenever he said all this, and he's like, I ain't gonna have a contract. I was like, oh, you done fucked up. And then the woman's like, yeah, that's true. I'm like, oh shit, you done fucked up. <laughs> I yeah. mean, but I, then I don't even understand the whole rent to own concept. I don't either because he was paying this woman twenty one hundred dollars a month. In rent and a hundred, a hundred of that was going towards ownership, and the total value that he was willing to pay for the house in the end was two hundred and forty thousand. So he's paying this woman a hundred dollars a month. That means twelve hundred a year towards a house that he's going to pay two hundred and forty thousand dollars for in the end. Twelve thousand. Wait, twenty one? No, tw no, yeah, a hundred dollars a month. That's twelve hundred dollars a year. Oh, oh, toward, what is uh, two hundred forty thousand divided by twelve hundred? Because oh, yeah. whatever that is, that's how many years he's going to pay on this house. I was going to say how many and how much rent did he pay in that time? Well, yeah, I and mean, that's the thing. Yeah, he's paying twenty one hundred, so basically two thousand every month is going towards rent. Twenty four thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Yeah. And twelve hundred dollars yeah, uh, going toward purchase. Yeah, it was like the numbers like, are blowing my mind. Yeah, is the is the whole rent to own thing? Like, I'm curious how long their contract was. Like, is it until well, the you pay didn't have house? one. Well, yeah, what was the, I guess, the thought process on it was going to come off the price of the house eventually? Like, when's the eventually? When is the decision to sell? Who gets to make the decision to sell? Yeah, well, halfway through all of that, that his story, he was talking about how um, after he didn't pay her recently, uh, they were agreeing to, like, move on the selling of the house much faster um, since it was the in one that foreclosure was at, at and all. An auction? <laughs> Well, yeah, no shit, right? He's just going to go to the auction and buy that. We're going to sell it uh, faster, as in, like, tomorrow at noon. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Um, so, yeah, I mean, but, yeah, I just the numbers were blowing my mind. But then we get to my my case, and uh, so our lawyer, uh, we, he didn't have a lawyer, which, I don't, again, I don't even know why he showed up. Like, um, our lawyer basically, like, I didn't even have to be there is what it, what it boiled down to uh, because he wanted my cousin to testify because she's had the most interaction with the man. Um, and I guess probably also because she's older. He didn't say this, but, you know, she's my mom's age, so probably, and a woman, so it probably looked better to have her testify than me. Though I did wear my suit, so I was all fancy as fuck. Um, yeah, when she picked me up, she was like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> she's like, this ain't a wedding. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so, uh, you know, he made my lawyer basically asked, like, uh, so you live here, you rent this, you've evicted him on this day, has he paid any rent since then, blah, blah, blah. And like, so he screwed all that. And then he goes and he starts talking, the man that we've evicted, and he tells this whole fucking soft story about how mean my aunt is. She's just a mean lady. And, uh, and and no matter what, every month he has to deal with her. And he's never been laid on his rent um, until this, the, this recent time when he was laid on his rent. And uh how he's, uh, she said that he's got to move all his cars, but they're all lined up nice and pretty. I wish I could fucking show you these cars on the screen right now while I'm saying this, because it's the biggest, man, it's got a fucking junkyard in the backyard lined up nice and pretty, Did my you, dick. You guys have pictures? <laughs> we do have pictures, but they didn't, it didn't come up in court. Because he goes on this fucking, this long ass spew, and then um, halfway through it, he starts talking about like what happened the day where she told him he needs to clean up his shit, like his cars and stuff. And he starts talking about, well, the woman at the store called me and the lawyer interrupts with like an objection saying it's hearsay. And so the 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 um, the the magistrate uh, was just basically like, you know, you, you get to the point here. What's this got to do with uh, with with the eviction and all this? And uh, he's like, well, I just want you to know how she's treated me. And she's like, the magistrate's like, OK, so do you agree that you have a month to month lease? That's a verbal agreement. He's like, yeah. And he's like, so were you served with a notice on May 5th? to to uh, vacate the premises in 30 days or uh, april 5th to vacate in 30 days he's like yeah and he's like she's like has it been 30 days like yeah he's like have they accept any rent I'm like no it's like okay then you have to leave please leave immediately <laughs> it's like you have 10 days if you're not gone in 10 days i'm sure they'll come back down here and use their legal right to have the, the house padlocked and you will no longer be allowed to enter he's like well i've been living there 12 years and the master's like well not anymore so how do <laughs> 
uh, in a case like this, in, in general, how do squatters' rights work, then? I don't actually know. I mean, aren't squatters people who move in without ever paying rent? Period. No, not, right. necess not necessarily, because it was a big apparent scam on uh, going around Airbnb for a while. It's squatters' rights can take. I can't, I'm going to log out because these stupid mystery blocks. Uh, but squatters' uh, rights. Right -click, Jeff. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, they take over when you rent uh, when you stay at a place for longer than 30 days. Huh. And so there was all these people going around Airbnb and getting these more long-term like rentals for 30 days, and then they just stop paying rent and not leave. They, they we'll didn't see. pay anymore, and they just wouldn't leave, and they couldn't legally be evicted until you go through this ridiculous legal battle, which I'm assuming since you guys are in a legal battle, it's you know covering the whole squatters portion of it. But I mean, you've heard I mean, it's still it's still an extra years. thirty days basically, and like so, like in his case, so she said, you know, and the the, the match kind of glossed over this, but she's like, and you always have your right to appeal within the next ten days, so he could technically appeal in the next ten days, which and then it would be heard in district court. And the district court would probably find the same way that hey, you have no, you have no right to be here. You've been told to leave. Uh, you you don't have any any lease agreement that says you can stay any longer. So get the fuck out. So you could technically like, I mean, as it is now, he was told to leave on the fifth. We couldn't actually get a court date until the sixteenth. Um, so there, there, right there is another eleven days beyond the day he was supposed to be gone. And then he has ten more days beyond the sixteenth. So and this is uh, free rent because they're not mandating right. he pays you any money for this time. Right. Right. The only thing he has to pay is all the court costs. Um, that, that's what the uh, lawyer said. Uh, the magistrate said we could have asked for um, legal fees and stuff like that, but could we you didn't. just ask for the rent, extra rent? Are you allowed? To I do don't that? know. I don't think so. I don't think because I think if he pays rent, then we have to let him stay, sort of thing. But but he is staying without paying rent, so you're just getting the that's back true. Rent. I mean, this is very true. But he's supposed to be. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're right. Um. So yeah. I mean, it's still like the, he still gets basically a month of free rent, so to speak. Um. Granted, he hasn't been there. He's been somewhere else. He hasn't been staying there. I don't know where he's been staying, but he hasn't been there in a while. Um, he's just leaving his shit there. Like when I went in the house, though, uh, and took pictures and video, um, he hasn't moved hardly anything. And like he's got like a kitchen full of dirty dishes. Luckily, the house is actually in good shape. Like I was worried because looking at his yard, like I've been worried about the inside of the house for a while. But um, there wasn't, it did look fine on the inside at least. So why is there there's that? Why is there clay that I'm pulling out of like the middle of this dirt? There used to be a lakes up there. I cl I've covered a lot of the lakes over uh, already. Uh, I was like, I've never seen clay just naturally existing. In the <laughs> yeah, no, there was there was some lakes up there. I, like how we I hit it clay. It's beacon, a though. surprise. It actually feels uh, good that we made it to the beacon at least on this level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon we can move the beacon. I mean, honestly, dude, this haste thing has made this so much faster. Oh, heck yeah, as I think we're gonna have run the problem now that mending isn't working as good as we thought, as we're gonna have to go on a diamond search soon. Yeah, that or I mean it's we have an option at least. At least we don't have to do that. We can we can kill shit at the mob farm. Um, right, right. I just don't know. And whole shit in the off hand is what I'm worried about. Yeah. Yeah, either way we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do something. It's not gonna be just uh how dare you shoot me? Yes, how dare. Very rude. Oh, your garbage around again, Jeff. It's not garbage. It's my uh, <laughs> my stuff that I'm not paying rent for. <laughs> uh, you don't tell me to get rid of it. I'll uh, I'll just not leave, and you can take the record of it. I'll leave it here. I mean, I don't know what he thought was going to happen in court. I really am curious what he... Because it really well, seemed like his argument was they're mean. Well, maybe he's just buying himself time to move his shit out. But that's the thing is he didn't move an inch to move anything out. And after the court, the judge told me at ten days or else they're gonna padlock the place. Uh, he 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 got he went and got a storage place because we know everyone in this fucking town. So the guy at the storage place called my aunt. Was like, hey, that man renting your house got a storage place from me today. Um, so <laughs> there's no there's no secrets where I live. <laughs> Um, so yeah, like he went and got a storage place that day and started moving his shit. Like this morning I went, uh, past his house and he was out there with his ex-wife moving shit. So it's like, it took that to get his ass in motion. Why, what, why the fuck did he wait a month to get his ass in motion? Was he thinking, like, I really don't know what he thought. Like, were we going to change our mind? Like, oh, you know what? You know what? You're an asshole, but you just go ahead and stay. Um, I mean, maybe he yeah. was hoping. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess. guess he's been there for 12 years, right? Yeah, 
but he's only been renting for us for a year and you know he's 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 always got this sob story he tried to tell my my cousin one time um that he worked on some car of mine in crystals at one point and we never paid him 150 dollars. this motherfucker's never touched a single car i've owned huh. um he's like you know i should get a discount on my rent because of that and it's like you've never you've never even looked at a car of ours i wouldn't let your lazy ass touch anything of mine um so yeah i don't know he's just i don't know I I'd, I'd actually forgot what he looked like until I saw him in court. I wouldn't have recognized him. Right, it was funny in court too. He was like, because we, because you know, my cousin told the whole story of what happened and the dates and everything. And we looked up the dates on our phones because we took pictures of, at his door and stuff each each time. And whenever we, uh, you know, apply the eviction to us, all that sort of thing. And then he gets in court. And it's like those dates were not correct. This all happened on the second, and then the rest happened on the fifth. And like the first eviction notice was served on the fifth, and then the others were on the seventh. Um, and, uh, <laughs> it was funny because the, the, the magistrate was like, okay, so it wasn't the fifth. that was a second. So really she should have just told you to leave on the second, not the fifth. It was like, oh yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. You've, you made it even, you're even worse off now. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, you, oh, you little baby. Oh, you little baby. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. There's so many fucking mobs. I know. I was trying to kill him to get some of this because I'm actually seeing my pick slowly coming back. But it sucks when you have fighting babies with a um, a fire sword and you're out of food. Oh, uh, yeah, because they just burn you up. Yeah, right? they hit you, burn you up. I start dying. I get all scared. I run away. But I'm actually seeing some movement on this pick now. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my shovel was at 3.30 earlier, and it said... Uh, 477 now durability wise. Do you have your durability on? I don't. I don't remember what that button is. It's like oh no no I do, something I do have B. 328 is what my picks at now. I don't know what it was at before though. Yeah, 477 now. So I'm I'm definitely moving up. I missed him twice. I saw that. I I but there. I mean, you know, I think I think one part of the reason why my cousin wanted to just keep him until he was an asshole was just we know what to expect from him. Like, even though he he did not pay the rent with my aunt, like he knew he had to pay the rent with us or to leave, um, sort of thing. And as long as he paid the rent, the um, the neighbors, which the neighbors are all fan. That was the other thing he brought up in court. He's like, she says the neighbors are complaining about my junk. Well, on one side of me is her aunt, and the other side of me is her son, and then across the road is her dad. <laughs> so, the so what kind of neighbors are those? They're like, and the other uh, was like, those are neighbors. It doesn't matter who they're related <laughs> to. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of it is kind of funny to have that argument, and it sounds good when it comes out of your mouth and then when somebody calls you out on it and you're like wait a minute <laughs> i guess they still are neighbors <laughs> right these people still live beside me but they're related to someone uh, does not stop them from being neighbors <laughs> no I, I told you uh what last week or the week before about the uh the tough times i was having at work yeah, yeah so uh, this shit gets even like even worse lately is because the, my department is being called out again for how come we weren't given time for like feedback on this particular type of issue and i was like i don't know what issue you're like speaking of well this thing it's going into production like next week and we weren't given feed we have this whole list of feedback that we wanted to give and nobody gave us a time frame and you guys just pushed it on through so we didn't get to do anything with it so i'm like look I, i'm we, we're looking up what this issue is right now it didn't come from us it came to us at the very last minute as an fyi because it got pushed down from a a level above us like we didn't have anything to do with this. We were just told that it was happening. Like that was the extent of our involvement with this thing. But let me try to figure out who it was that, you know, uh, what group it was. So you can talk to them about this feedback in case you need to do something. It was from her fucking work group. I knew the moment you started saying this, there was going to be someone that was like under them or that's, something that's like that. The, that's the shit. Like that's the shit that I'm dealing with. Like, and it, it, it's, it's so just, it, it's so infuriating sometimes. 
Infuriating. Infuriating. <laughs> <Is that right? laughs> like Nazi Germany fur, like <laughs> infuriating. Uh, uh. Can I just look at that wall over there? What you've done to it, Jeff? It's beautiful. It looks like a, a teenager in high school. It's beautiful. But yeah, I just hate when I have to deal with stupid shit at work that is. Uh, it just it frustrates me. It makes me not want to like yeah. go back, <laughs> but obviously I want to go back. Right. The nice thing is yeah. we're getting to the bottom, and, and it's funny. I, and as mad as I am about it, I, I, I can blame this person because it is really their fault. But I understand why they didn't get it. Like, because they don't go to every single one of these meetings, and these meetings are not run by this person. They're run right. at the system level, so they're a level above her. And she missed the like one of the meetings where I guess they talked about this specific thing. So she really well, you know she's got to feel fucking about. real dumb then whenever you tell her that the shit came from her well, department, right? I, I I don't know if that's truly the case or not because I still think she expects that once since my department ends up becoming or, or the, the informaticists end up becoming the last stop for things because it is something that gets built in our electronic health record system. So no matter what it is and how little we have to do with it, people always assume that we know of every single change that's happening because we are informaticists. And we don't, of course, because there are so many of them that come from so many different groups that we don't know details about all these things that are happening. We only know the details about the ones that we're trying to make changes happen specifically to what our agendas or whatever. Um, yeah. So I still think that her, as well as multiple other people um, at her level and even at higher levels, assume that we are going to be that that uh, that stopgap in case something got missed or some more feedback needs to happen, that we will be able to, like jump in and save the day or be like whoa 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 i bet you blah 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 has something to say about this so we got to put this on hold type of deal we don't have that mm -hmm. knowledge we don't have that ability in all cases to do that okay yeah so i mean yeah my job sucks too fucking <laughs> twitch subscribers talking shit sometimes so and, and you know it's it's <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny because that that's the one thing that I have to put up with, or th those types of things I have to put up with for having a a position where I know exactly what I'm going to get paid every you know two weeks or whatever my you know pay right. structure is. Whereas, yeah, you're your own boss and don't have to deal with stuff like that, but you have to deal with the volatility of whatever it is that you're dealing with. So it comes yeah. with its own challenges. And, right. And, right. For sure. And you do definitely have to listen to what your subscribers say because if you don't listen to them at all you're not going to keep them and therefore it's going to you know right yeah, yeah. i was just kind of being it. silly but, but, but it's yeah, true yeah. It's i mean just, you're right you're definitely right yeah i was really confused because i had a potato i forgot that zombies could give them i was like where the fuck does potato come from it came from potato stew. Uh, yeah that was like next to the clay potato stew just randomly <laughs> in the middle of the dirt part of the new update that we still don't know if it's going to mess with their whole idea of what we're doing here i if it does i just want to update <laughs> I, won't. I really want to update but with a, a backup saved just in case and see what it does <laughs> like I yeah i mean we could check check a snapshot right before i guess but yeah yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm fine to see him, but if 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 it breaks what we're trying to do, we're gonna have to, just gonna have to wait. Nobody, nobody else plays on the server. <laughs> well, they will be next weekend. Maybe. <laughs> well, that for sure. Why is, why is this a big dirt hole all of a sudden? Where'd this come from? I'd just be me and you. <laughs> like everybody's on the server. It's <laughs> yeah, good me and you. <laughs> is it uh, how many hours is the? The server is technically the opening segment, and I don't even know if we, it, it's right now. It's in there as vanilla server question mark because <laughs> uh, it's basically just the opening while seven. Just make sure that uh, UHC is running and ready to go, sort of thing. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, I got I got to look at the schedule, find out what I'm doing, and at least carve some time out for the UHC if nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you've already got like teams all set and stuff. No, like, no, nope, nothing set. It's <laughs> it's the participants is set as everyone available. All okay. right. Um. So, honestly, in the spring UHCs, we've I don't think we've ever had more than nine people. Um. For them, is it just uh, us always... or are there guests in that one? 
Um, Justin is going to be there. Uh, okay. So there's going to so, be so there's, Justin. So, so there, are, there are guests. Yeah. It's not limited to. Right. I mean, Justin's basically a Minecracker at this I'm, point. Without true. He's a Minecracker without any drama. <laughs> oh, I miss that guy. God, I'm, I'm so glad that guy is around the group because he was such a fun dude in uh, Florida. Because I'd never met him before. Oh, no, I met him at the, at the marathon. I mean, the marathon in Florida. Um, that's the first time. Who was he at in Florida? Oh, 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 yeah. He was at XYF9. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. I mean, I was hardly around because it's busy being Disney guy. So I I'd forgot who was even there and didn't hardly see you guys. Yeah, that was, uh, he's a good guy, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we were still adding people to the group, we'd be someone that would be worth adding. Maybe it's been so long that the hype is real. People want a new member. <laughs> the question Everyone is, blames Chad for anything that's wrong. Everybody... Do you know Chad was the last person that got added? Was he? I, yeah, yeah, that's how long it's been. Yeah, and that was years ago. That was like I think it was 2014. We did something in PAX, uh, real PAX, right? Or was it PAX? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember anything anymore. Everybody plays Chad. <laughs> is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is, anything that's ever wrong, it's like because Chad joined. <laughs> it's so funny, too, because right after Chad joined, he was um, one of the few people who was making daily vanilla content for like a year solid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, we daily mi Minecraft vanilla content. Right. At that. Like, it wasn't even that he was just doing his other thing. It was he was so active on the server and one of the few people. Yeah. I don't think there's anything we could do to get people to play again. I've, I've like, talked to people that still play and they won't even. Like Arcus, for example. I mean, I, I, it's, kind of, it's kind of lost its appeal. Yeah, vanilla's pretty boring now. Yeah. Everyone I know that still plays Minecraft just wants to play modded. Some form of modded and I don't yeah. blame them. I, I, yeah. I mean, I would be all about if we got a modded server up and running that was able to sustain um, multiple people and had reasons for multiple people. Like, cause, right. cause I No, because I don't think you just throw up a, be like, here's a modded server that we can all hang out on. I don't think that's going to work. Something that is right. still like, you can still have your missions. It can still be achievement based, but everybody can do their own thing to get there. Um, right. I mean, it's kind of like what me, uh, Arcus, Nebris, and Packrat do. We've, you know, we've had a modded series going now for three years, I think. Um, and it's been through multiple mod packs, but, you know, we, that's but what you, we do basically. But you guys all but work. It's not. If somebody gets an achievement, though, does it go to everybody? Um, I mean, yes, yes, yes. We were on the same team working for, but we don't, we didn't, we wouldn't necessarily have to be like whenever we did. Oh, can um, you make it so you're on different teams? And it, you, yeah, 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 then, yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, the, the quest that, book, actually. quest book is team based, so you don't have to all be on the same team. Oh, uh, whenever oh, we I did um, Agrarian Skies, I don't remember if there was a quest book in that one, but we basically all picked our own mods and we're all doing our own thing, even though we were um, on the same sky block, so to speak. But we didn't really, we worked together occasionally, but we also kind of did our own thing. Um, but for D Divine Journey, we're definitely just, uh, I got blown the fuck up. Um, we're all working on the same quest book. But Divine Journey is one of those mod packs that's supposed to take you nine months playing eight hours a day sort of thing. Uh, so we're trying to like get there quicker than that. But me and Arcus are talking about doing Sev Tech once I finish um, Age of Engineering. Um, so that could be something, I guess, that uh, you could probably join in too. What is Sev Tech? Is it made uh, by Sevitas? It is. Um, not. I mean, it's commissioned by Sevitas. He had uh, Dark Osto make it. Uh, he's the guy that made the Invasion mod pack. Okay. Um, so he basically told him what he wanted. And what Sev wanted was a very um, progression-based mod pack that starts off like super simple. You can only do certain things. Um, and then it, you open up other, other tech trees and stuff as you go on. But it's supposed to be something meant for... People that stream or have a lot of time, so it's it's a, not a mod pack you'll finish in a weekend or whatever. It's supposed to eight hours a day for six months is the is how long the progression should take. Even if you're never. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I think so. <laughs> I mean, because Sevitas basically plays like Nebris. um, and so it's it was meant for someone like Sevitas who streams eight hours a day, that they could technically stream it five days a week for six months. Um, so yeah, I mean that's something that we could technically do. Me, because like I said, me and Arco are going to do it. You could you could join us, I guess, and instead of uh, continuing to do this, that's probably gonna make people sad. Me hear me say that. Cause oh no, we, this has last... to end. This has to end at some point. <laughs> I'm yeah. looking at that we've done a hundred and uh, I think what released today. I don't know what, when this will be, but like 112 or something like that released today uh, of mine, which is started over at the beginning of this. That's 
you know, 112 episodes we release every other day. That's been 224 days of Minecraft vanilla again. I think we gave it a good go. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, when you think about it, though, that's nothing compared to what it used to be. Oh, that's very true. Something that, compared to what it used to be, but neither are the views, which means neither are the desire to watch. That's true. Stuff. That's true. So I don't know if you put the the video in the title, you get a that's, different. That's, different. That's, that's true. That's true. Yeah, Have I mean, it'd be, it? it'd be different if multiple people were super engaged with this. It was increasing sub counts because people were really engaged with you know the videos. But you know, the, the three hundred views a video on mine and uh, three thousand views on yours or whatever shows that right. there's not a lot of crazy interest in. Yeah, yeah. I get as many views on anything else I do, honestly. I think there's more on Mario Kart than this. Though, again, since I've changed up the search engine titles, it's pretty much all over the fucking place now. Like, I put up one the other day. Is it called um, uh, No, I called one The Best in Chance, and it had, like, 20,000 views in a day. Um, <laughs> the next day, uh, The Worst in Chance. I mean, yeah. I named one Teenage Life, and it had twice as many views as the one before. Um, so I've just been trying teenage different porn. things. Teenage porn. <laughs> um, yeah, the teenage life one was the one where we were talking about the teen, like, because uh, you were talking about like the growing pains of Minecraft or something like that. And so I was like, yeah, it's like when I was a teenager or something. So I was just like, ah, I'll call this episode Teenage Life because that's got to work for search engines, right? Uh, yeah, just basically been playing the search engine game to see what works. And you're finding some things, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, I tried the same thing on other series, and people apparently search for Minecraft videos, but they don't search for Mario Kart videos because videos doesn't work in the title. I told Beef about it. He started doing the same thing for his Minecraft videos, and it works for him too. Jesus Christ. But she didn't even need any help. I mean, I guess everyone needs help, but he was already still getting, you know, 70, 100,000 views an episode. Oh, oh the days. That. Yeah. I, I didn't have those days, so I can't really say that. But <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a play button, damn it. I'm like halfway there. You know, I never got mine, so. <laughs> Even though I crossed the 100,000 threshold, but I never got one. But you earned it. That's true, I guess, sure. Take that to the bank. I'm going to just start a Patreon campaign that's zero dollars. Just get please me to sub. a play button. <laughs> <laughs> please sub. It's like you're like fucking Jeb Bush. Please clap. Uh uh yeah yeah i don't know um i am starting a new uh modded series actually uh which uh you remember zoomavoid or not zoomavoid fuck uh iscal from the marathon mm -hmm. came from sweden um he'd asked me there about doing the full craft s server that uh he's done a couple times and i said sure and i forgot all about it and he messaged me like a week ago and was like starting up next week i was like oh yeah yeah i'll be there <laughs> so i've been playing on there a lot this week it comes out this friday actually um, so I'm hoping people are interested in that. That's with a lot of people I've never played with or haven't played with in a long time. So hopefully there'll be some some new eyes this way. See what happens. Yeah. Honestly, we could probably bring some people into the vanilla server. Even I mean, the whole like you got to be a Minecracker to play on it at this point, I think is kind of a silly thing because like no one else is playing here. What the fuck's it matter? Sort of thing. I don't know. We should. You should cheat in a pig spawner. <laughs> God, uh, I don't think anyone would care. Be, we're back at that point where no one would give a shit, right? It is so funny how it went from nobody cared when you did that way back when because it was funny to all of a sudden like people would flip out if somebody had to get teleported when we were doing like a big joint venture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell it. I'm unsubscribing. I'm done. Done. He was only 100,000 blocks away from you. You guys could have waited six more hours for him to just walk there. <laughs> right? Uh, man. Um, well, we're out of time once again. And Jeff's killing the, the series, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I so. am. I'm, I'm killing it. It's dead. You've heard it here. It's, dead. it's over. <laughs> it's done. It's the last I'm, episode. I'm blaming it on Chad. Chad told me to do it. Yeah, Chad did it, really. He was talking about coming back, and we were like, fuck that. We're no, we're like, I can't play with that guy. The last Minecracker. No. <laughs> he ruined this place. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll see you guys next time. All right. See you guys.